Hi guys, it's your girl here live in the city. Welcome to my channel today. Thanks for watching and taking time out of your life to do that for me. Well, today I'm coming to you with an Amazon haul. And it's just an collection of things that I need and want, <laughs> of course. But um, I wanted to share with you, the main thing I wanted to share with you guys was this bling flat iron. You hear me? Yes. I was going to just show you guys that, but I was like, no, let me just show them everything that I got. And, you know, we'll go from there. But check out this thing right here, Haunty. What? I don't know who. I I didn't come up with this on my own. I was watching some new person hairstyle channel I got, honey. And their feed popped up and... um. I didn't even know that she had those flat irons. She was just showing this girl's hair how this girl's hair was like really straight or whatever. I don't know, black chick, but nevertheless, okay. She was using the flat irons and I had to hit pause. Oh, to the M and the G. I I don't even know where she bought her from, but the first thing that goes in my mind is to pull up Amazon. And yes, I did that. So I'm pulling up Amazon. And I just typed in bling flat irons. I'm thinking, okay, this chick, I think this chick is stylist or something. Because I think she said she she was on some Tyler Perry movie she had done. And she showed this picture where she was standing next to Tyler. I think she's some kind of professional stylist. I do not know her name. I wish I did. I don't even know. I would have to look. But she was using those flat irons. And I was like, I got to have them. But hers, sorry girl, was out of frame. But hers were diamond. Now, the colors that I saw that they had, they had this, is which is they're calling rose gold. And I'm going to take it out the box, of course, so you guys can see. Uh, this is called rose gold. And they had one that was diamond, which is, the, you know, clear diamond. And then I think they had a purple one that was like a dark purple. I don't know, y'all. But the name of the flat irons are nano uh, I think it's nano titanium bling flat irons. So you just type in flat irons like I did, honey. Bling flat irons. But um, yeah, let me let me see if I can read it for you here, or at least show you the back, and you can hit pause and read it for yourself. And of course, as the color says, rose gold. And yeah, I was like headed straight for the diamond ones, but you know, I have uh, some Conair. Um, a barrel of curling irons jumbo and just like a medium size and I'm like okay let me get the rose gold so to match them so basically that's why I got the um look at that out the box that's why I got the uh rose gold okay so bear with me while I try to take this out okay I'm not gonna plug anything up but I will show you what's going on And they do have a user, u, user's manual. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they had this. They, they even give you... Um, just a moment, guys. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. They even give you spare rhinestones to go on your uh, thing. If they come off, so I'm definitely going to keep those in a nice, safe place. But the only... I guess the only con I would have about this, because it's so... Look at that. <gasps> Y'all see how this is blinging? Oh, my God. In one of my previous videos, I may link to this video, which is uh, the, the eBay jewelry haul. It has the bling on that jewelry. was just like this. But anyway, look. This, is how, this has the LCD uh, digital display, so you can see what temperature and I know you're thinking what temperature it goes up to it goes up to what 470 degrees Fahrenheit on your hair so this is what your hair is gonna be bone straight and I believe do believe these are one inch look at that what <laughs> I'll show these to my husband I said boy that's why I mean you you what Look, that's how I do it. He just looked at me and rolled my eyes. I'm like, girl, you a mess. It's like, hey, that's why you go out to work to make me a mess. <laughs> but yes, look at that. And of course, let's see if you can see inside. That's your uh, plus and your minus, which you can, uh, I guess, decrease or increase 
the uh, power and then you got your on off button here and yes it's just blinging for the gods what look at that I'm gonna try my best not to knock no stones off I might have to just look up well I got one it's really big though like if the thing that you put your flat irons in is leopard but I want one with a drawstring I'm gonna see if I can find something with the drawstring and uh, set my beautiful my beautiful flat irons in okay because I have a, I usually hang them on this wall uh, decor thing that I have but uh, I don't know. I don't want to knock the stones out. I want to try to keep it preserved as long as possible. Because if I knock all the stones out, y'all know I'm going to buy another one. But yeah. This is going to set you back. I know sometimes people don't talk prices, but your girl is real right here. Um, These can cost you up to $150. But I was lucky enough when I clicked on it at the time when I was watching the video. They are right now $51 on Amazon. Yes, 51. They could have been 81. I swear to God, I would have <laughs> I would have got them. But yeah, these are going to set you back 51. So if you got 51 bones, you can uh, let go of. Hey, get you some. If not, save you some 51s, honey. And um, get you one from Amazon. They got their Prime Day coming up, but I pay for Prime anyway. So, yeah. Okay. Enough about that, because, girl, I'm like a moth to a flame. We'll be here talking 30 minutes about some dirty flat eyes. <laughs> All right, here's the next very expensive item that I got. And if you guys don't know by now, I've created a little art channel. And my channel over there is called Art Diva. And, uh, yeah, you just, I think I got it in two words. Pull up Art Diva, click on subscribe. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see what's going on with that, I think I'll do a video and um, take this out the plastic. Uh, I meant to grab my, my colored pencil case to show you guys uh, what I keep them in, but I, I, I'll do that. I won't do that now. I'll just, if you want to see, you're going to have to go over to Art Diva and pull your girl up, okay? But, yeah, these are Prismacolor. Premier. Now they have different types of prism color. Just like, like regular and I forget what the other one is. But this is the Premier. This is the highest count that they have. Of course I gotta have the highest count. And if you don't know by now, I know I got some new people. I am addicted to adult coloring. But my, my adult coloring ain't just any kind of old book. My book gotta be on the wings of glamour. I got I got no uh I got coloring books that had shoes in it. I haven't even colored in. I've given away books. Um, but my new my art channel hasn't been up that long, so I'm not gonna do a giveaway yet. Maybe in a couple months I will. Maybe going into fall, I may do a giveaway. But I've just been, you know, like blessing some people with some coloring books. A girlfriend of mine that I uh, used to work with at the law firm, and uh, yeah. That's what's going on with your girl. But anyway, check out that art channel, Art Diva. Okay, these are the very expensive coloring. These are like, let me hold it up for you. This is on the level, even if you're thinking about or thought about getting into adult coloring, get into it because um, it has really helped me out a lot. It's not a cure-all, but it does help. I suffer from migraines. I've been diagnosed by a doctor. I have chronic and tension migraines. I could have a bad headache seven days out the week or five days out the week. I may have two good days or a day when I'm not feeling horrible. But, uh, you know, the doctor said years ago for me to do meditation, whatever, whatever. I try to ease my pain. It's, you, it's not curable, so you have to find a way to live with it. But uh, I found out that doing this adult coloring that it really just keeps me calm 
and my husband asked me do I have a guitar I could literally get up like at nine o'clock in the morning and color all the way to ten o'clock at night non-stop I'm serious I would stop to eat but that's how I can go I mean because especially if it's a book I really 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 love and I've I used to just order all kind of books before but now I've just narrowed it down I like good paper and good images I don't like cartoonish stuff at all no, I don't think I like cartoonish stuff at all. I don't like coloring dolls and cats and flowers all the time. But if it's in a scene, I will. Okay, but yeah. This right here is highly, highly pigmented coloring. I mean, your colors can blend really well. Sometimes I don't even have to use a blending pencil. It's like a colorless blending pencil. You can make all your colors blend together. But yeah, if you want to see this open, you're going to have to go to Arteva. Let me put that down. Uh, in fact, let me just move it out of the way and show you what's next because that's another thing, honey, I'm very passionate about. I could go on and on and on about that. Now, I have four beautiful books. Let me see if I can pan this down a little bit. That I that I really like by this uh, illustrator, uh, Rachel Mintz. I was just, I think I love, oh, I was uh, in one of my uh, older coloring books that I have. Uh, well, I don't even know the name of that coloring book right now. Oh, I think it's called Flowers and Gems. I got that from Amazon as well. But anyway, it has portrait style uh, images in it of women and stuff and flowers or whatever they're doing. You can color clothes in it and everything. But uh, it's mainly the up close, their face, the you know, the hair and stuff, and I could do makeup on my images. But anyway, I was looking to see if I could find more portrait-like coloring books because most of my books come from overseas, like Korea and stuff, because they have the really nice, great, artist-grade paper. But this book, I'm going to tell you right now by Rachel, the paper is thin, and I'm willing to overlook the thin paper. In fact, I got two more books coming, y'all. That ain't that's not even here yet. It'll be here, I think. Like one be here Wednesday, one be here Thursday. I just ordered them different times. Go, you know, go figure. I couldn't make up my mind, and I went back and like, oh no, I want it now. I don't want to wait. But anyway, uh, I have four books. All of these books are by Rachel. But I'm willing to overlook if the paper is not like 100% artist grade. Only if the images are spectacular, and they are, and, um, and let me hold up this one. Uh, I usually tag, <laughs> I usually tag my images off. If I mean, I like all the images in the book, don't get me wrong, but there are some that are just so spectacular, like, oh my god, I wish I was Leonardo da Vinci, honey. Uh, I, 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 uh, yeah, I just love it. I go crazy. I'm like, okay, I can't wait to color that and put my own spin on it. But, yeah, um, I think I may peek and sh No, I'm going to show you the back. Because if you want to see, I do, on our diva, I do color and book flip-throughs. I don't really speak. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I just flip through the pages, and you can see. And if you want to order it, you can order it for yourself. But that's what those images look like, honey. You can put your imagination to what, however you want them. You can make them black. You can make them white. You can make them whatever color you want to make them. But yeah, that's one. So I got four and all. Let me show you the front again. It's called Gorgeous Stunning Women. And trust me, the women in here are stunning. Let me see. I said I wasn't going to show you one, but let's see if I can find one that is really, really beautiful. Come on, I just passed it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there's one. In fact, when I get off camera, that's what I'm going to start on. And I'm going to make her a black chick. Okay, it is what it is. All right. All right. So that's one. And here is another by Miss Rachel Mintz. And this is number two. There's another hairstyle book. There's the first one. I didn't have any order. I guess I put them in order by size. But that's the first hair book. And then this is the second one. I'll show you the back. It won't be too stingy and I'll show you the back. But look at those beautiful images, honey. And I mean, they are like that. Now, granted, the paper is thin. I always put uh, uh, cardstock or something in between anyway on my images. But, uh, yeah. There's another one. What? She gonna be a black chick too. Get your life. Yeah. 
Rachel is very talented and I cannot wait to put my talent of being a colorist on on her images okay here's the other and this is a little smaller book and it's okay it's cute this one is just little hairstyles but you know some of them you can do the makeup a lot of them you just you see the back or the side images super cute let me show you one that I see if I got tagged off which is easier here she go here's the cover girl boom she's cute see if I find one more just because it's hairstyle you know I'm all about the hairstyles there's another one that's super cute those images are super super cute as you can see like you can see the image through the paper I don't know if you can uh, on that side but I'm willing to overlook that this time just because the images are so beautiful and I like makeup and I like doing makeup and a lot of times when I color it is rare that I don't color any you know, of my images with that eyeshadow or something girl it all depends on what the scene is about but here's another one by Rachel and like I said if you want to see every page that I flip through uh, you go to Artiva yes and let me just pull up one since I got some tagged off let's see what do I want to color put eyeshadow to that's pretty yeah so that's that guys and I have two more things I bought some hair from um let me open try to open this thing I'm gonna show you the packaging that it came in okay I bought some hair that's four bundles of ombre hair which is 1B27 and that's a closure and that closure in here came from the same company and I'll show you that in a second and this here this is beautiful I'm gonna take it out the package and uh, this is I have a MacBook Pro and this will fit uh, mine is a A1708 but it will fit a A17062 and this is without the touch bar so yeah I have a MacBook Pro without the touch bar I could have got the touch bar now which I had since I use emoji so much all the time my husband's like he got it me for last Christmas he said you can get the touch bar if you want to you know touch bar was 1700 I figured I was just trying to be sweet not be greedy and I just got the one without touch bar it was 1500 so yeah look at that look at that deer that is so super cute is on the black background and just so happen I have uh, a keyboard cover and it has these type of flowers on it with the black background so I didn't have to buy another keyboard cover I just bought the keyboard I mean the, the keyboard uh, not the keyboard the computer case y'all yeah, know what I'm trying to say and that's the back and yeah, this is going to fit my 13-inch MacBook Pro. And it's pretty. I like to be surrounded by pretty things. I can't help it. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, guys. Here is the last. Because I know this video is probably long. I have not been keeping up with the time. 18 minutes. Ooh, wee. Okay. Let's start off with this closure. And this is a 12-inch closure. And it came from the company uh, Top Hair on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. It's cute. And I have some of that um, toner shampoo, that puffy shampoo. So I'm going to, after I make my unit, I'm going to use that toner shampoo on it and get it even to look, I guess, more uh, of an ash. And take all the brass out. I mean, it's not super brassy, but you know, make it a softer, lighter blonde. I love it. Look at that. This is a four by four lace closure. So, I'm going to get started on that today as well. You guys probably won't see that. I've made previous. I think that um, when I was doing my jewelry haul, I made that unit as well. I don't know if you can go back and see that. Like I said, I will try to attach it. 
I might upload this video, but yeah, you know, I get tired of. See, I got a temp. I don't. <laughs> be tell y'all something. Y'all don't be messaging me talking about what I did show or didn't show. Ooh, honey, I have to try to hold myself because I've been told people off, but I'm at the point now, I don't want to show you what freaking wig I make. If you see it on me, good, because no, you didn't show this, or you didn't show that. Okay, can you do this? Can you do that? Look, make your own day. I almost curse y'all. Make your own wig and show what you want to show. But if you look at what I'm showing, say it's either cute or don't say nothing at all. But yeah, I got an attitude now. So I don't even show y'all my wigs. I just make them out on video. Nothing. Oh, mm, no. I'm done. 22 inch. That's 22 inches. The first one is four. That's 22 inches. That's 20 inches. Let's see, this is 18, 18 inches, and this one is 16 inches. Let me take this one out so I can show you that it does match my closure because it all came from the same place. Now, I don't know why, I guess I don't know if they won't get more money on you, whatever, I don't know. But they did not include a closure in my bundles, and I'm fine. Four bundles set me at 101, and I was able to get this closure 12 inches for 25. They have more inches, but yeah, I chose the 12 inch. And yeah, that's the hair, that's the 16 inch. And like I said, you guys probably won't see it. You'll probably see me wearing it because I'm giving my hair a break again and it's all braided up. In fact, the reason why I wanted it to be a little bit longer, so I decided to braid it back up and just take better care of it. And I keep it oiled with a wild growth and a black Jamaica cast oil. Yeah, so that hair is really, really soft. And there's the company right there. Let's see if I can go back so I can focus. It's top here. Okay, so yeah, four bundles, which was a steal. I know this cheap, but I didn't want to spend three hundred dollars on new hair because I had already spent. I spent. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but those are Prisma Premier Color pencils. They cost one fifteen. Those pencils can go up to three hundred dollars, and I was able to get them for one fifteen. If I didn't say it already, I don't remember. But yeah, that is my hair, guys. And this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and hit that bell. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.